on the regular agenda. So let me, uh, not, not as well prepared as it should be. That wasn't open. Okay. So the viewer pipeline, um, basic, uh, um, rundown. So there's a, there's another maintenance viewer coming. I'm not sure what state it's in, but there's a collection of those fixes. Um, there's the graphics quick preferences viewer, which I'm running now. So some of you are just colorful blobs. Um, that still has some bugs that will prevent it from uh, being released more widely. Um, nothing terrible, and it's got a perfectly reasonable crash rate, but uh, there are some glitches in the, in the functionality that we, we want to get fixed. Um, so that's not going to release real soon. Um, HTTP and coroutines is out. It does have some blocking issues, but uh, it's otherwise doing extremely well. So it's a high likelihood of going out pretty soon. Um, CEF is looking really good on Windows right now, and we're getting close on the Mac. So um, I'm hoping that we can get that from uh, Project Viewer status to Release Candidate status pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to be meeting with the team after this meeting. Um, there is a new Project Viewer out for voice fixes. Uh, Vivox has been working on it for quite a while. Do you have um, a list of what those fixes are? They're in the release notes. Okay. Um, and if you, if, if Worley can't translate for you back to the original bugs, then I probably can. Um, but that's, uh, that's out as a project viewer. It will probably not remain a project viewer for very long unless some big problem happens. That is, we will probably rebuild that fairly quickly as a release candidate. Uh, yes, thank you. That's the link. Um, and uh, basically, Vivox has said, please don't report voice issues unless somebody has tested them on this viewer because this fixes practically everything they know how to fix. Uh, so that's encouraging. Very good. Um, and, you know, on the list we have the Oculus Rift viewer, but it actually hasn't gotten any love lately. So um, we're, we're busy on other things. So uh, that's uh, still something we hope to get back to soon, but it's it's not happening right now. So that's the current pipeline of stuff we can talk about. Um, and let's see. So, uh, you know, taking a guess, next general release is, um, if, I had to, if I had to guess right now, I would say it would either be the maintenance, the next maintenance viewer, which should appear as, a, as an RC in a day or two, or the HTTP viewer. Uh, Right. Yeah, I meant, you know, working day or two. Right. Um, uh, well, yeah, but the voice thing hasn't been merged with the HTTP yet. So we, we can't address that. Um, So, uh, let's see, that's it. Um, and I guess, you know, we can, we can talk about whichever subjects you wanted to talk about. Why don't we, is, did, did Nat make it here? I told Nat he should show up. Are you here, Nat? No. Why not? Hang on, let me just look and see where he is, because he's...
Okay. Um, okay, so what have we got to talk about? Okay, so coroutines. Um, so, for, like, first of all, uh, and, and this is nothing to you guys, really, just that um, it, it's going to set us back a little bit because uh, it's a big change um, and uh, breaks a lot of stuff in our viewers, so we're working pretty hard to try to fix those. That aside, um, and I don't have the issues directly in front of me, but from what I hear from uh, Worley and some of our testers and uh, other members of the Firestorm team who have been trying and running the Coroutine Viewer, quite a few issues, the voice being one of them. If you guys promote that to release, that voice issue may have a pretty significant... Um, Do we have a bug report against that? Yeah, of course. Uh, Worley's typing. I'm sure she's going to have it. Yes, we do. Okay, good. I just want to get it open on my screen. So, although that, although the issue may be fixed in the Vivox update, um, it's not fixed in the coroutine uh, work. And so, if you do promote that, then. Um, basically, I've got people screaming at me, oh my gosh, I hope Linolab doesn't promote this to the, to the main channel. And, you know, not to us, it doesn't impact us, but it'll impact your users. Do you have a, do you have a list of the issues that they're raising? You're asking really if she has a list? <laughs> Is the Pope Catholic? Well, the, aside, from the, aside from the voice one. Aside from yeah, the voice I'm one sure and the, the TPR disconnect. Right, and then we, we, the other one that we already know about that, we're, that we consider a blocker for going to general release is that it seems to disconnect. We seem to have a much increased rate of disconnect on teleporter. Um, and, and we're working on that. So will you fix that? Uh, and and I just marked it? I just marked the internal yeah that one is definitely a blocker for promotion, and I just marked the voice connection failure uh, at a severity high enough that will keep it from shipping for its face. So we've got two right now. I'm really still typing. I don't know how many there are, to be honest. I've been so busy with gateway stuff. Uh, 3010391. Hi, Annette and Izzy. Hello. Uh, wasn't there a problem still with certain attachments coming attached with region crossings? And has that been fixed? Uh, I'm, I'm not aware of any... Do you mean something specific to the... HTTP update. I think the last meeting there was something on that one, or something about region crossing certain, something about attachments coming to attach or something. Well, I mean, there's there there's a there's a, there are some long-standing issues with attachments on region crossings or teleporters. Um, some of those are. Difficult to address, and some of them, you know, are specific to particular versions. I'm not aware of any that are specific to the HTTP change.
Okay. Uh, and do we have do we have a a bug report on that, really? Because that I don't think that was on our radar. Ryder, were you aware of any issues around that? We haven't earlier, but I thought I, I thought I had fixed it. Uh, okay. If it's if it's if it's still happening, we can. Uh, I will. Oh. I, I will happily take another look at it. All right. Well, this big fail one looks like it's got actionable stuff in it. Uh, let me see. Where's the internal issue? There it is. Okay, so the internal issue is marked pending release. Oh, so that's in the update that we haven't quite pushed out the door yet. Is that right? Is it, is, it, uh, is this one in? Hold on. Uh, I'm looking for the DRT link. Yeah, 10391 is main 5693. That sounds about right. Is that in the build that's out, or is that in the build that hasn't gone out yet? I don't know. It looks like it should be in the one that's out, because it passed away on the 22nd of October. Okay. Well, we'll 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 have to review that one and yeah. see if there's yeah, I'll, something I'll another, to be done. I'll, I'll take another look at it. So, does does that suggest? Uh, does that um, probably mean that you won't be promoting core routines next week? Uh, it doesn't seem likely. I mean, it didn't seem all that likely anyway, because I mean the the blockers we already knew the blocker we already knew about would have been too soon to, uh, to ha has not been, we, is, we don't know that it's fixed. So, um, okay. yeah, so it's, it's likely to be, you know, at least another week and we, maybe we more. We actually do get, um, Linden fewer users, uh, asking us for help sometimes directly, sometimes indirectly. And um, so that's one of the reasons we get concerned about major issues that we think are about to be released by you guys is because it, it will actually impact us in in some way um, or another. Right. Well, I appreciate your helping us, you know, make sure that we get a good understanding of the severity of things. Um, yeah, the, the, the disconnect on TPs, is one of those elusive ones. It seems to happen quite a bit for some people and never for other people. Um, so we're still trying to figure out what that's about. So it sounds like, you know, you don't need to, you don't need to worry about that hitting the, 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 uh, hitting viewer release next week. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see. Okay, yeah. so maybe a week or two or three. Oh! Uh, I, 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 I don't I make predictions that far in advance. Yeah. Oh, uh, so I was having some issues on one of y'all's viewers with it locking up. Well, that's a pretty broad description. Uh, well, it was kind of like when I was building or doing or certain opening up profiles, it would lock up. In other words, it would freeze for like a minute or two, and then it would go back to functioning properly. You know, uh, do you remember which one? One second, I'm actually going to pull the number on that one. Okay. I've got I've got it downloaded. And installed on my computer. I'm just starting it up right now. Hold on. So, 
the, your your release is your uh, next right the next Firestorm release is. We're on schedule for. I'm sort of aiming for Monday the 16th through Tuesday the 17th. That's severe. I was having the lockup issues with us. It's on the Valhalla build. Okay, so that's the that's the current. Um, yeah, Valhalla is the Chrome embedded framework for you. Um, and it is the current Chrome embedded framework for you. And you're on Windows, right? Yeah, actually, I am on Windows House. Okay. All right. Well, I don't. I don't think I recall having seen a a bug report that sounds like that. So, might be worthwhile to file one, especially if you don't can figure out how to repro it. Naturally. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I don't know how she does. <laughs> One of uh. I, I think she. Oh no! I meant the. Somewhere. I meant the. I meant the lockup problem. This is a teleport problem. Uh... Give her a second. She's indexing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Uh, okay, so this is the about this is the this is the this is the disconnect problem. And I think Wally just put the one out there for the locking up. Uh, major HTML5 video performance issues. Oh, I remember seeing this issue. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so this is 30 prims with video playing on them. Um, don't expect that to work. 30 prims well, with I, video on? You know, I think <laughs> you should be able to open up, you know, 30 YouTube videos at 4K resolution, and it shouldn't have any impact on the computer. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, do that in your web browser and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I didn't I have to look at this did you leave that comment right, let me look no I haven't commented on that you, you probably should I, I, I think he probably shouldn't <laughs> <laughs> but I will uh, there was there's a comment further down that he said he cut it down to only 24 and it's still very laggy uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that we have um, our DJ who uh, performed for us for the um, the gateway opening uh, has a DJ booth with a bunch of um, media screens that um, and he was complaining to me about performance of, of um, Phil Hella and, and he, he told me that he was in touch with you. I thought this was the Jira, but I guess not. So you probably have another Jira somewhere or was close as a dupe. Uh, it's possible. That's the thirty YouTube screens. Is the um, DJ Jethro the reporter on 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 one zero five nine eight? DJ Quad Radio. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> I'll be yeah. over here. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't. I didn't realize he had that many screens. I don't think that'll work. Okay, the problem I've been having with it locking up is not related to video. That much I know. Okay. So yeah, I'll try to reproduce it later today or tomorrow sometime on right. and, if, and then file a jar on it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Well we We're gonna we're gonna, you know, try to get that one 
squared away out the door. There are a lot of things, a lot of other things competing for time, but uh, we really would like to get that done. Um. Uh, I'd like to offer, um, you know, credit where credit's due. Kudos on the new avatars. Really good avatars. Yay! None of Thank us you. present here can take credit for them, but they're fantastic. Oh, well, please pass it on. Well, I have given credit to... Well, actually, some can. A few writers. <laughs> some, writer. some contributed to the, the... Not the actual making of the avatars, but some of us did. Some did some were part of, part of getting them out. Um, oh, very good. I, I can't wait till we can get them in Red JPI 2. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, the avatars... Uh, well, you can get them out of the library now. Um, yeah. Right there. Okay, these are not mesh avatars. We fixed right? the permissions. Yes, they've yes, been we fixed. fixed the perm. Yeah. All good. And if anyone has an avatar, if you have newbies asking you how come they can't change the avatars, just tell them to open the avatar picker, which is me, change your avatar, or choose an avatar, I think, and uh, just select one. And that will give them the uh, correct permissioned one. Okay, wait a minute. Is this isn't this when we do this? This doesn't put us back into the old pink polka dotted dress. I hope. No, that has been out of rotation for a generation or five. Can you replace? You know what? Can you? So. The thing is, until we can get take a deep hands, breath and you know <laughs> think it through, just sort of a, a really significant thing for me. Um, at the moment, uh, without you know taking up all the time here, um, we can't use the new registration API. I, Lynn and I have to make some changes to it. The new registration API allows new signups um, to choose their avatar before they log in. Unfortunately, we still have to use the old one right now. Um, which means that all new signups that come in through our uh, registration portal come in as polka dot avatar. Can't you just overwrite that avatar with like one of the nice ones? Um, it's just, you know, that's their first experience coming into Second Life is, you know, Ruth. I, I would quit. <laughs> <laughs> It's the horrible. polka dot girl next door is not Ruth. Well, it it may as well be. <laughs> <laughs> I have some memories of the polka dot. Well, I, 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 so do I. But that's because we're old. But if you're a new avatar, a new person coming into Second Life, and your I know, avatar I know. looks like that, oh my gosh! I, I've seen <laughs> Ruth. She's better looking than the pink polka dot dress girl. That, that and, and if they that, choose male, so basically they log in and they they get a model, um, choose your gender, male or female. And if they choose female, they become polka dot. And if they choose male, they become, uh, I don't know what you guys call him. Ken? It's, I think guy next door. Boy next door. Yeah. Next door. Boy next door. Boy next door. Yeah, that's really, there's no way. Just, I know, we are, <laughs> we are know trying to get the new Reg I know. API. I know. I'm, I'm not criticizing you guys. I just sort of wish that you could just we're, magically switch we're actually, the ID. We're something. actually pretty close to the, to being able to release the, the s switch you to the new API. Oh, that would be um, so which much better. Has, has lots Especially of nice, new nice qualities. Right. Um, Soon. We can, I guess we can ask what's involved in changing the default avatars for the old one. I, I don't, I, I really don't have any to idea. deploy, and I would, it's well, probably, we can find out, yeah. Difficult. Everything I, I'd rather focus our not. efforts on getting the new one out than, if, if it's only, if it's only a, if it's only a configuration file, it wouldn't be a big deal, but probably isn't. It's probably hard coded, so it's a bigger deal. Um, uh, well, that's what it is, is the character test will give you that, yeah. I mean, we'd love to see the character test put you into a, a better avatar. But if it meant, like, if it if it means in order to do that, you'd have to pull someone away from, you know, working on API 2, then then don't. Yeah, that's, that's what it would be. Yeah, yeah. and we haven't started, uh, although the portal is open, uh, the gateway is open, we haven't started... Um, 
our marketing yet. Uh, that's going to be, um, we're going to be looking to the community for, um, we're going to be doing a photo contest anyway, and um, and then creating splash page or um, landing pages based on the winners of that contest. So basically, we're we're involving um, the existing Second Life community in doing this whole um, That's marketing great. thing. Yeah, um, and so I mean, we so we don't have like hordes of new people signing up yet, just because we haven't started that yet. But um, I, I would really, I'd be ashamed to log people in a second life new and put them in that avatar. <laughs> Okay. I have one other thing. All um, right, go ahead. And since Izzy is here, Izzy, are you here? I am here. Okay. How many times, just curious, how many times does support have to handle um, support tickets from estate owners who accidentally clicked return all instead of return selected? And ended up returning the whole region, and so they've had to, you know, submit a ticket to do a rollback. Does that happen often? Not as often as it used to, but it so does happen from time then. to time. <laughs> no, actually, the worst one is when they disable scripts for all instead of selected. Oh, well, yeah, that could be a problem. But, um, you yeah, know, the other day, I, I, you know, there was stuff lagging, and, and so I was using top scripts, and I selected bunch of my own items that um, actually had a higher script usage than I thought they did and, and I clicked return all and the whole gateway was being returned. Yeah, I, we in support really hate that button. Yeah, I. you know what? That needs a model. It needs two models. It needs a model dialog that says, are you sure you want to destroy everything? And if they click yes, it says, are you really sure? At least two. Jessica, let me refer you back to the days um, before the glow-in-the-dark, are you sure, about setting your parcel for sale for zero lindens to anybody. And people <laughs> still click through it. You know, it sounds like that's a, a terrific feature request. Um, it also sounds like it's a, a really easy... Oh, it's crazy easy to do. I, I cannot it's, believe that there isn't a model there. I, I, so, I mean, it just so, seems to me. Yeah. Uh, you know, if if the, if we got a feature request with a contribution attached, we could crank that through pretty fast. Okay. I'll bet Grumpity would even let me do it. I would. <laughs> I, I. We can even do the UI change ourselves. That's fine. I might even <laughs> bake cookies for that one. Come on, let them do something. <laughs> Fine. Do we gotta leave them some easy ones, and then we get in the habit of doing it. UI modal dialogues. <laughs> Call me crazy. <laughs> okay, how about just, in there? Just move the button somewhere else, not right next exactly. to the regular return. Let's not do UI design in this meeting. But yes, right. there's a solution for this problem. Give me a feature yeah. request. We'll put it on there. Okay, I'll I'll do up here. Thank you. Means I gotta do one on ours too. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that would nice be that would be great. Process. We could make all the individual items we're about to return shake. No, <laughs> nice little uh, oh, cool. never mind. You are about to return six <laughs> or fourteen thousand objects. Are you sure? <laughs> I feel like exactly. I should be yeah, that's exactly signing it. off from this Absolutely. meeting right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's not let's not scare Grumpy away. Um, okay, thank you. That's a good feature suggestion. Please file it, and we'll we'll we'll. We'll expedite it. Um, uh, let's see. That, we got we got anything else? Uh, just are we having fun? We're winding up into release. We're looking yeah, good for it. Uh, we've had no blockers this time around. Um, which you know what that means uh, is that the day before release, you know, the end of the world basically. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're looking at the sixteenth, seventeenth. And um, that's it. Cool. Uh, let's see. We have some some server uh, some updates on uh, upcoming server behaviors. Veer, you want to kind of walk us through it? Uh, sure. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, I think our, uh, our last meeting we talked a little about the uh, uh, upcoming changes. Uh, one thing was attachment points. Uh, you know, if you try to attach things to an attachment point you've never heard of. Um, oh, good, good topic. Okay. Then uh, that is uh, is going to be uh, not possible uh, soon. We'll be uh, we'll be switching the the. Uh, requested attachment point rather than blocking it so you'll wind up with an attachment on uh is it the chest uh nat is that right yeah okay so essentially that's that functionality is going to get broke uh yeah if if there are still things if there's still people uh attaching things to uh to invalid attachment points now that's different from the question of this is all a little complicated so uh, bear with me it's a little different question from uh, animating attachment points. Um, there's okay, there's been the quite a lot of discussion about, about having yeah. meshes that were rigged against attachment points that's and right. animating those. Um, and there's not any immediate uh, change coming on that. So, oh, that's great uh, news. Uh, you know, we'll we'll have more to say about that at, at a future time. But uh, you know, what what's going to be coming in the relatively near future is uh, a blocking. Uh, Blocking attaching to attachment points that we've never heard of, and B, uh, referencing. Well, we don't we don't block sorry. them. We just attach them somewhere else. Yeah, sorry. Right. Uh, as I say, it's complicated, and uh, I'm right. trying to get the terminology right, but I don't always. Um, yeah, it's not actually blocking it. It's it's referring it to a different, uh, moving it to a different attachment point. Uh, what what we will be blocking is. Uh, uploading animations or meshes that are rigged to joints that uh, we've never heard of. Now, that's that's not just joints that we didn't have in mind that people might be rigging against, like the attachment points, but that's joints that aren't even part of the uh, part of the defined set of joints in the avatar at all. Um, I don't uh, I, I sincerely hope there's not any good reason for anybody to be doing that, but uh, uh, in any case, uh, that's that's also going to be, uh, uh, you know, not working so with this uh, next set of do changes. Do you mean in – because in, in regards to um, – Worley, can you pull up that JIRA for me? I, I can't seem to find it. Uh, the Linden one, actually. Um, Is it bug 10.543? Uh, 10, the one where you had all the uh, merchants. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the one where there's not going to be any immediate change. Um, okay, cool. That's, that's the so question because about you mentioned though that um, to, to attachments, attachments you've not heard of, because part of the, what they do there is they rename in the viewer uh, the attachment part. So if it's two word right ear, they, they put right underscore ear. So because if there's a space in the name, so does that include them? Because in a way they've been changed, sort of. Mm, I'm pretty sure the mechanism there is that they rename it in the. It's just in the viewer. Uh, it's in the DAE file, and then it gets right, converted right. back into the standard name on upload. Okay. So I don't think that requires us to accept the underscore name. It's just a workaround to avoid uh, an issue with the uh, mesh uh, mesh uploader. Okay. So for the sake of disclosure, um, uh, after seeing the um, number the volume of, of people here on this issue and having them on our average year as well. Initially, uh, we had removed the the patch that makes this possible from the viewer, and we weren't going to release with it. Um, and because we received some complaints uh, from other third-party viewer developers that it causes various things, um, we've not been able to reproduce any of the things that is claimed causes problems. Um, and neither have the people who made the claims. Um, and um, so we actually don't see any, you know, it's it's like Invisiprims, like in, you're not supposed to do this, but it works and there's a lot of people doing it. Um, so we're, we've put the patch back in Firestorm. It's going to go out in the release, but it's going out through a... Um, the ability, the capability to do it is disabled by default and can only be enabled through a debug setting because we don't want to put it in the UI. I don't want to put it in the UI because that would suggest to people or make people think that it's like a supported thing. Um, basically, people who know of its existence um, may So you're know, talking about the, the rendering of 
meshes that are rigged to attachment points. This is talking about uploading uh, right. meshes that are said. rigged to attachment points that have spaces in the name. Um, That's right. You know, currently, ah, right. Okay. In, in SL, you can... Uh, you can do that with attachment points that don't have spaces in the name, which some of them don't. But with the ones that do have spaces That's in the right. name, uh, I think it's at the Kalata parsing level. It uh, it doesn't yeah. like it and uh, and winds up rejecting them. Uh, and and it it actually renders they render perfectly fine on every viewer out there. Um, they don't spam the error logs or viewer logs. They don't cause crashing. Um, None of the things that have been claimed uh, have been demonstrable in any way. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so, uh, you know, I've, well, I've told creators we're putting it in as a debug only. Don't tell people about it except, you know, people who really need it. And don't expect it not to be broken in the future. Right. So, yeah, let's, let's just be clear. We're, we're looking carefully at this. We're, we're trying to think through it and trying to figure out what the right set of trade-offs to make are we definitely hear that there is uh you know interest in being able to do what people have done with this with this workaround we completely get that and we will you know we're taking that into account in a very very serious way but um that doesn't mean that we promise that this will always work That's um, and these, and these, the, it was never intended to work this way, and right. and there, there, there is at least one obvious visual problem with this. If you've animated an attachment point because you needed a bone to do whatever it was you wanted to do with the avatar you're doing, and you're moving it to somewhere we didn't expect it to be, if somebody attaches things to it it will not attach where they expect it to be, right? If you've reused the right elbow for something else and you can't attach, well, I don't know if, if there's an attachment point on the elbow, but um, if, you, if you've re re reused the right wrist, right, and somebody puts on a bracelet that's supposed to attach on the right wrist and you've moved it to somewhere in the avatar's back for some reason that you wanted to do, the attachment is going to go to the wrong place. Yeah, we don't right? do that. That's not so, right. So I'm just saying there are yeah, right yeah. there there are there are there, there is at least that one reason why reusing those those uh, parts of the of the skeleton um, in this way is not great. Um, so we're looking at it. We're trying to do the right thing. We're trying to do it very carefully and and with respect for you know, what everybody wants to have happen. Um, and we'll have more to say about that at some point. And we're looking um, forward to that, to uh, more to say about that. Yeah. Well, you know how that goes. Uh, we're, <laughs> you can't say we, anything. I know. <laughs> we we got a lot of balls in the air right now. So that, uh, uh, we're, we're trying to make sure that we, we, we have enough hands to, to handle them. So, um, anyway, uh, so, do what you think you need to do to keep your users from hating you forever, but um, but make sure you caution them that it might well, not I, work. I have so there, worked, um, yeah. there are there are these other changes coming to the behavior of attachments, um, right? You can't just use arbitrary attachment points anymore. You'll the, the simulator will change them to a different a different point. Um, if if it's not something that this, that's in the skeleton, then it'll It'll get changed to the uh, the chest. Um, I think mostly that stuff that people attach on uh, attachment points that aren't there is invisible stuff, like your old bridge, right? Um, so that probably won't well, make any. Broke our bridge pretty good already, so. <laughs> Thanks well. for that. <laughs> and everything else, actually. <laughs> well, you like, were doing. You, you just need to convert your. You yeah. just have to convert all your HTTP operations to the yeah, new it's, you know, paradigm. Miners. It's no big deal. <laughs> yeah, it only took Ryder how many months? Ryder, never mind. Don't answer that. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I mean, it was yeah, it was a big job. It was a big we're, job we're for us. Sort of, in seriousness, I'm a little bit worried. Like we're finally caught up with you guys, and I'm so happy that we're caught up because we can now keep up with you guys. 
Um, and, um, and then you now coroutines kind of worries me that it may set us back again. Um, although, uh, Nikki's been doing actually pretty good at, at fixing most of the issues that have come up with it yet, but th there's quite a bit more that needs to be done. Um, it just touches everything, right? Yeah. Well, it did, right? Uh, that was why it was such yes. a terrific project to give to Ryder as he came on board and he got to learn like most of the viewer by doing one thing. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, question now. What did this do with regards to the animation f interface? Did it uh, fix? Uh, I don't understand the question. Well, when uploading animations, I sometimes see twisting in animations, and that's what I'm wondering if there's been anything in there that's fixed that. Is this in the coroutine viewer or, or in all viewers? Uh, all the viewers. Just I, I've noticed I, that when I use certain things like QB um, animator and uh, for multi-frame animations, I get twisted in it. Like the ankles will twist or the wrist will twist in odd places and things. Not familiar with the problem. It doesn't is there sound true? like it's probably uh, related to coroutines, but it uh, could... I don't know if there's a juror on that or not. All I know I is just it's something I see every once in a while. Do a, try to reproduce it in a video if you can record it and file a Jira. And I, include the and include the animation bro. file. And, and that, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. I've got the animation files that I can include into a chart. Sure. And we're always looking for good test cases. That's that's great. That might be a good one for you because okay. I, I know there's been some people. A friend of mine was telling me something about zeros being in the animation is that you had to go through with QB Avenator and put one in every, just the digit one in every joint and it stopped the twistage when you upload yeah. it. I don't know enough about how that stuff works to be able to comment on that, but if you get us a JIRA and a test case, we can uh, either provide advice for people who are producing animation files or to, on how not to have that problem or fix the problem, whichever, whichever seems best. Okay, I'll see if I can get something worked up on that. Because it's, it's, it's not a big problem, it's just a little problem that seems kind of annoying. Uh, okay. Any uh, other topic? We're that's it for us, I think. Anybody else? Silence speaks we are, volume. We are adjourned. Have a good weekend, folks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Oz. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Oz. Thank you. Oh, I do have the animation in Second Life that's been causing that problem. Already uploaded. Yeah, it's already uploaded. Well, do you have the original, though? Uh, I have it in Second Life, and I have it in Real Life. Okay, so attach it to the Jira, the Real Life one. Yeah. We can, well, we can have somebody look at it. I mean, since we're 
doing some thinking about animations anyway around this uh, attachment point issue. Yeah. Matter of fact, the, my avatar is all over the place when I put it in, in that animation, in that pose. Oh well. I'll see if I can create a jar on it for next time. Cool. Bye, everybody. Have a good okay, weekend. I'm off to. Bye, everyone. Take care, Jess.